Hello Aries, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your energies, your person's energies, what's going on in your connection, and um, where it's all headed. So let's jump right in for Aries spirit. What's going on for them in love? As always, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone 100%. If it resonates, that's great. Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If it does not resonate, check out my playlist for Aries. I'll have it linked in the cards. And you can get to that by going to my uh, homepage. Just click on my username here and it'll take you to my homepage and just go to the playlist tab for Aries Spirit. What do you have for Aries and love? Keep in mind this reading is for those of you who already have someone in mind or in a connection of some sort. Let's see what's going on in your connection at this time. What's going on for Aries and love? Five of Cups reverse. Three of Coin, okay. I feel like someone wants to work together with you here um, to recover something that they've lost. Yep six of wands so this is someone that um, wants to recover something that they're missing or uh, wants to overcome what happened in the past and they want to have some sort of success here they're working with the intent of being successful let's get some more information this could be a possibly a easy reading in the sense of we might get some clear messages here tell me more about this connection Spirit, tell me more about this connection for Aries. Let's see. Calling in your soulmate. So manifesting a soulmate here. You could be dealing with a soulmate connection. What else? Separation. So I feel like some of you could be separated from a soulmate or are not with this person right now. And perhaps... That's why they're working to recover what they've lost. Bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. So yes, I feel like um, this is for those of you who are in some sort of separation from your person. Let's get some more information. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available now. It's linked down below and it's also available on my website. All right, Spirit, tell me more. Give me some more insight. What are the energies surrounding this connection? between Aries and this other person. What are the energies surrounding this connection? And then we're gonna dive into what each of these cards really mean. Past life, yes. Okay, so this is someone from the past. Um, this could be a past life connection or, you know, that's probably why we have soulmate here. You have um, some sort of um, past connection with this person. What else? And divine timing so we have two cards about divine timing with worth waiting for this literally says divine timing is at work in your love life and then here we have my card for divine timing so trust in divine timing is the message here yeah I'm, I'm getting a sense that this is definitely going to be probably a more clear-cut reading so let's clarify let's get some more information here tell me more for Aries help me clarify these energy space spirit for Aries okay. One more. tell me about this five of cups reverse Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of ending between you, I feel. And I don't think um, either, you know, because this could be all of your energies here, uh, Aries, or your person's energies or a mix of both of you. Um, I feel like um, one of you, at least, is not over this ending. Tell me more about this Five of Cups reverse. Wow, Temperance. Yeah. It's like someone really wants to bring this back into balance and I have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, definitely. Sagittarius energy there with Temperance. Tell me about the Three of Coin. Tell 
I thought the three of coins. Why is the three of coin here? Is this someone like actively working on something? Two of pentacles. Why is the three of coin here? Two of wands reverse. Wow. Okay, can I get one more, please? Ace of pentacles. Yeah. This is someone working on a new opportunity, on a new offer. I feel like this is someone that has a lot going on in their life. Uh, maybe they're really busy or have a lot on their plate. Um, perhaps this is someone that um, is weighing their options, um, which path to choose um, in order to have this offer accepted. Tell me about the Six of Wands. This is all about success, recognition. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Someone wants this to happen and quickly. This could be a message um, that someone sends you. Um, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why? reverse three of pentacles yeah okay so interesting i feel like there's money something to do with money i have the four of pentacles here at the bottom i asked spirit why the ten of pentacles reverse which is a card about kind of like instability insecurity so this is somebody that's not you know it could also be a commitment that is not stable or that is broken um, but what I'm thinking here is that someone wants to move quickly, but there's something to do with like financial or a career possibly, or it could be another commitment. Um, this is what they're working on. And it's almost like I'm picturing someone that's working to like save their money. Um, maybe in the meantime, they can talk to you or, or maybe they don't even want to talk to you until they have all their ducks in a row here. Because I feel like they, they don't just want to make you a little offer. This is an Ace of Pentacles offer. This is a huge coin, literally. It's a huge offer. Um, something that completely starts things new or over. Um, let's get some information about how you're feeling towards each other, your energies. Tell me more about Aries and this other person's spirit. What are their energies in this connection? Tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. What are their energies in this connection? Okay, the frog is all about healing, renewal. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Oh, well, that one just flew out. Lizard, interesting. The lizard is about kind of like a sixth sense. Um, instincts. I'm gonna look at that one real quick so basically with the frog here this is someone this is all about like healing um having like the the water wash away any impurities um so i feel like at least on your side here aries you want to heal this connection um and then your person on the other side on the other side this is someone that has like a sixth sense um they hear what is yet to be spoken and see what is yet to manifest, almost like a, a third eye kind of energy. Um, interesting. Sensitive to the subtle and a dreamer. Hmm. Let me get one more for this lizard. Can I get one more for this person's energies? Tell me more, sir, about this person's energies. Because I'm trying to figure out if this is their energy or if this is how they see you, how they react to you. Buffalo. Okay. So, yes, um, the buffalo is a very steady um, energy. Um, they are, they know the road ahead is tough and they have like a very trusting spirit. So, their courage doesn't waver. They kind of just go with it and they just trust that the path will lead them where they're headed. So I feel like your person, um, I, it's almost like they know what needs to be done and what the path ahead will look like. Um, let's get some more information here. Where's my, okay. 
Tell me more. Now, Aries, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but the energy can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection spirit. Balancing act. You're juggling multiple things at once. Interesting. This might be you not knowing also if you want to accept this offer from this person. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies? Because I feel like you have a lot going on as well. Maybe this person sees you as someone that has a lot going on. Bountiful harvest. Plant seeds now watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah, this person's working on something here. They're working on manifesting something, an opportunity, and then have patiently waiting at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is you like waiting for this person to kind of like meet you halfway or bring you this offer. Or perhaps you know that divine timing is at play in your love life and you know that it's just a matter of time before you are together with this person. So let's get some more information with the tarot. Tell me more, spirit about Aries and the person they are in a connection with. Tell me more. Tell me more about Aries. This one. Devil reverse, Capricorn energy. So I feel like a lot of, um, a lot of you are probably going through like a self healing, self care, um, process right now like maybe you're healing from the past or healing from an unhealthy situation focusing on yourself tell me more about Aries Empress reverse yeah I feel like a lot of you probably um let me get one more for Aries I feel like something hasn't worked out for you in some way maybe in life you know in your in your personal life um, something has not grown or manifested like you thought. Maybe you don't didn't, don't feel like you have the resources. Yeah, so you're not able to make something happen here. Possibly too, I'm feeling like some of you could be um, upset at what has happened here. Maybe you're not going to be so quick to forgive. But, you know, another thing I'm seeing is almost like maybe you jumped into something and it wasn't the right time or it wasn't the right decision. Because the Empress Reverse... Sometimes the Emperor's Reverse can be an energy of someone that um, they put all their eggs in the wrong basket. The Queen of Wands Reverse, um, this could also be, you know, she typically uh, makes decisions and doesn't really think of the consequences. Like they jump in and, and it's, all, it's just not good. But this could also be the person you're dealing with. Maybe you were dealing with a Queen of Wands Reverse energy where the person that you were dealing with um, hurt you because they weren't really thinking of their actions or how their actions would affect you. Because I see you breaking free of something. Bottom of the deck, I have the five of wands. So yes, this is kind of the energy that I'm picking up here. Like there was conflict here. And I don't know if this was with this person or just outside of this connection. This is what you've been going through. We'll see when I clarify those. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. The star. See, you're both mirroring each other. Aquarius energy. This is about healing, hope, faith. The chariot reverse, cancer energy person is not really moving or stuck or delayed tell me more about this person the moon Pisces energy they have all major arcanas interesting I have the moon and then I have the knight of swords so I feel like this person wants to tell you something that you don't know um Maybe they want to illuminate, um, you know, kind of bring you the truth of something. Maybe this will be a surprise because sometimes like this Knight of Swords can come in like out of nowhere and like smack you with the truth. <laughs> um, so there could be something happening here that you don't see coming or you don't expect in the sense of like communication here. We'll, we'll clarify and see. 
tell me more. Spirit. For Aries. Why is the devil reverse? Eight of cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like you were um hmm. Maybe you were prevented from leaving a situation or it took you some time to leave a situation. Maybe this is what you're working on now. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like you weren't able to do something here. Tell me about the Empress reverse. It's like it's almost like you know, you probably I don't know. Um maybe you got you got into a situation that wasn't the best for you. Here's the Queen of Wands upright. Yeah, whatever you've been trying to it's like you're still trying to manifest something here. Yep. Page of Cups. And it could be that you're manifesting like you want to apologize or you want to approach someone or express yourself. Um, maybe you're manifesting some sort of love offer and it just hasn't happened yet. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? I feel like you're this Queen of Wands. High Priestess reverse. Okay, so this is um, possibly, yeah, I, I feel like you weren't really listening to your intuition and maybe now you are with the Hermit and the High Priestess reversed. This is kind of like you, the, the Hermit is all about someone withdrawing to listen to their intuition, figure out their next steps. But with the High Priestess reverse, you might have been neglecting your intuition or perhaps, I don't know, I feel like, you know, I just get this, in, this idea that it's, it's like you're both in the same boat. You both wanna talk, but you haven't. I have the three of cups I just flipped over. Reverse. There could be some sort of interference in the way here. Tell me about High Priestess Reverse. Oh. I have the Nine of Swords with the Ace of Cups. Someone's worried. There's stress or anxiety, maybe guilt here. Maybe you you hurt this person or this person hurt you what whatever ending happened i feel like you both want a new beginning with each other but there's like silence or or not a lot of communication just a lot of thinking why is the star here yeah this person wants to heal the separation the lovers reverse why is the chariot reverse It's a chariot reverse. Queen of Pentacles. See, again, it's either money or a, some sort of a responsibility that's keeping this person kind of stuck. Tell me more about the chariot reverse. Interesting. Almost like this person is um, getting caught doing something or maybe trying to sneak away or be strategic and it's not working. <laughs> Tell me about the moon. Seven of cups. Tell me about the moon. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like this person has like the secret desire to have success with you. Um, maybe they're being quiet because they're trying to figure out the best way to be successful. Which cup? Which cup will bring me success here? Yeah, and there's like an impatience. I have the King of Cups. There's love I feel between you. You and this person, there is something here um, that's special. This person is, um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords reverse. They're, they're committed to being successful, um, but they're prevented from moving right now for some reason. They want to move quick, but they can't. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse, please. Yeah, this is someone trying to sneak away or leave Six of Swords. 
And then again, I have the Three of Cups reversed. So some of you are definitely dealing with an interference. Whether that interference is long distance, money, or another person, there's an interference here. I feel like that's why divine timing is at play because it's almost like this is going to happen when it's meant to. Tell me more about what this person is secretly thinking or feeling about Aries. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aries? I'm using my secret moon oracle deck here. I'm ready to open up. Yeah, that's that's that secret coming out. They're, it's like they want to tell you something that you don't know. Like they're ready to tell you the truth about something here. I need more time. Yes, I feel like this person is prevented from doing what they really want to do. And I feel like it could be timing, it could be finances. Um, things are not happening right now. Can I get one more, please? I'm overwhelmed. That could be those responsibilities. And then at the bottom, I have, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. So this could also be overwhelmed with, you know, the truth that they have to express. Um, so let's see, what's what's next? Where is all of this headed? Spirit, where is all of this headed for Aries and this other person? This is headed. Oh, we got justice. Justice is coming in to make things right. Hold on. Libra energy. We got so many major arcanas in this reading, which is kind of just um, a symbol for major shifts in energy, major things happening, sometimes things that are meant to happen. Tell me more. Where is all of this headed? Wow. Four of Wands. Hold on. My deck. Every time I pick a card, my deck wants to act up. <laughs> Almost like I want more. I want to tell you more. Tell me one more, please, Spirit. Where is all of this headed? There's the Three of Pentacles reverse. Got the World reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse. Something needs to be let go of in order to close a chapter here, is what I'm seeing. Um, I feel like there's justice here, maybe a legal situation for some of you. Um, justice is going to come in to kind of right the ship, uh, rebalance the situation. 1111 here with the Four of Wands. I feel like this is destined energy. This is something that um, it's like a soulmate connection or something special. But then we have that Three of Pentacles reverse, which tells me there's still an interference here. And that's still going to be a thing in the near future. So let's grab a Guidance Oracle for you. This is my Stellar Guidance Oracle deck. It's available now down below in the description box. Spare any guidance or messages for Aries. Okay, we have Take a Risk. And then bottom of the deck, we have Weeks from Now. Okay, I feel like, I feel like this person might take a risk. Yeah, and I feel like this is going to happen pretty soon here. Thank you so much for everyone watching, subscribing, supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If this resonated for you, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these types of readings. And I'll see you all in another video uh, very soon. Take care.